Hi students, today we are going to start a new chapter in EVS. That is chapter number 3, Animal Shelters. Now students tell me, where do we live? Yes, very good, we live in our houses. And tell me, why do we need houses? Yes, we need houses to protect ourselves from very cold weather, gusty winds, scorching sun, heavy rains can cause us great discomfort. We live in houses to protect ourselves from them. A house also protects us from thieves. Some people live very close to forest. They have to face the treat of wild animals. A house protects them from the wild animals too. Like us, do animals also need shelter? Come, let's see. Well, some animals do need shelter. They build shelters for themselves. Shelter means a safe place where one is protected from any danger. A place where one is protected from the sun, rain, wind, etc. Some other animals find shelters in safe places in the environment. Children, now let's see. Animals who build shelters for themselves. Students, you must have seen birds nest. Isn't it? All have seen? Yes. Nest are shelters that birds build. Birds are afraid of animals that eat eggs. So, they need a safe place to lay their eggs. Baby birds come out of the eggs. There are animals that eat these young birds. The young birds are too weak to defend themselves. The nest keeps the young ones safe. That is why birds build nest. They use things like grass, straw and twigs to build nests. They may even use cotton wool and pieces of thread and string. This makes the nest soft and warm inside. But my dear students, I am sure that you all have seen that the nests of all birds are not alike. Means all birds' nests are not same. Birds choose convenient places to build nest. Look at the weaver bird. It chooses a thorny tree which has some branches hanging over water. It builds its nest on the highest of these branches. Animals that eat eggs find it difficult to reach this nest. The tailor bird is smaller than a sparrow. It selects a plant with bigger leaves and builds its nest by stitching the leaves together. It uses a fine tendril to stitch them together. This little nest is big enough for the little tailor bird. Now let's see. Some insects also build their own shelters. For example, honeybee builds their honeycomb on trees or under the roof of an overhanging cliff. Rats and mice live underground in fields. They dig into the soil and make holes and burrows to live in. Rats and mice also live in areas where people live. They make holes in the walls or under the floor in houses. They mostly take shelter in mud houses and not in those built with cement. That is because they cannot dig holes into cement construction. Now students, let's see animals that find ready shelters in the surroundings. Some animals do not make any efforts to build a shelter. They simply look around for a safe place. Some doves and pigeons 
live in forest. Some live in small hollows in high cliffs. Some live near our houses. They find shelter in gaps in walls. Tigers, leopards, hyenas live in caves. Some types of bats live in tall trees. But some live in dark caverns in mountains. Or they look for shelter in old, deserted, tumble-down buildings. Students, do you know? It is believed that a cobra lives in an anthill. But that is not true. Anthills are built by ants, not by a cobra. The cobra lives in holes. Now children, let's see. Shelters for domestic animals. When people keep animals, they build shelter for them. The shelter built for hens is called a chicken coop or hen house. A cow shed is built for cows. The shelter for a horse is called a stable. Now my dear students, what we have learned today? Animals need a shelter to protect themselves from the cold, wind, sun and rain. Some animals build their own shelters. Some animals look for ready shelters in their surroundings. We build shelters for the animals we keep. Now my dear students, always remember, is it right to keep animals in cages for our pleasure? No, let them live in their natural surroundings. Okay students, bye, take care, thank you.